Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson we're going to start looking at how to deal with molecules that have attachments. We haven't really been focusing on, on that. So for example, have a look at this molecule over here. So if you look carefully, we would see that the longest continuous chain is three carbons. Yes, you could also go that way if you wanted to, but you would never be able to form four carbons. It's, it's, it's got a maximum of three carbons for its longest chain. And so for the table part, that's going to be prop. Then it's only got single bond hydrogen and carbons. And so it's definitely an alkane. And so it's just going to be propane. But now, let's say we choose this carbon, this branch here, or sorry, this, this chain here as our longest chain. Then on carbon number two, we've got a branch. This part here is the branch, or if you want to call it the attachment. So it's on carbon number two. Now, we haven't looked at this before. How many carbons are there in the branch? Well, that's one, okay? So that's meth. So I'm going to say meth over here. But because it's a branch, you have to add the word methyl. And then between any word and any number you always put a line so it's going to be the following like that let's try some more so here's another one so your first step is always to identify the longest continuous chain so you could go there 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 so that's one two three four five six carbons now six gives us hex then we can see that it is a alkane because there's only single bonds with carbon and hydrogen so that's going to be hexane now we need to look at the attachments so we have an attachment over here which is on carbon number three so we'll say three and it's a one carbon attachment so that's meth but because it's a branch or an attachment you have to say methyl and so that one is three methyl hexane here we have a one two three four five six seven eight carbon chain and so that's going to be oct then it's only single bonds between carbon and hydrogen so that's going to be octane and then on carbon number three again we've got a methyl so we're going to have what's well, a meth but because it's a branch it goes like that. So that molecule is called 3-methyl octane. Here's another one. So the longest continu continuous chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that's oct. And it's definitely just single bonds with carbon and hydrogen, so that's octane. Now we've got two branches. Okay, if I label it from the left, then that's carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I label it from the right, then it's carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight so we're definitely going to label from the right because we want the co the branch numbers to be as low as possible so we've got a branch on this carbon here and then we've also got a branch on this carbon over here can you see the branches it's this and it's this over here so the way it works now this is something new so if you're feeling a bit confused welcome to the party this is something new so it's on carbon number two and on carbon number three so we do it like that then we put a line and then obviously each of those branches is a one carbon so it's methyl but now because there's two of them we're going to say dimethyl now if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed right now trust me most students when i show them this for the first time or any teacher in a classroom when they show this for the first time all students are like very confused that's absolutely fine you've probably be, been confused a lot of times in this course but then as we practice you start getting better that's how life works so let, we're going to keep practicing, so just bear with me and let's keep going. So here with this molecule, we can see that the longest continuous carbon chain is six carbons long. So straight away, that leads us to hex, and then we can see that it's only single bonds, and it's and there is a there's two halogens. So this is a halo alkane, but remember those still end with ane. Then on which carbon numbers do we have branches? Or attachments if we go from left it's one two three four five six so then the branches will be on carbon four and six if we label it from the right then we've got carbon one two three four five and six where the branches will be on one and three now that's much better than four and six so we're gonna label it from the right so the branches that we have are gonna be on carbon number one and on carbon number three and each of those branches are called chloro so because there's two of them you will say dichloro so that's one three dichloro oh and between any numbers there must be a comma so it's going to be one comma three then there's a line dichloro hexane having a look at this one the longest carbon chain is three four five six seven eight nine so that's none 
And then because it's single bonds and it's just an alkane, we're going to end it with nonane. Then where the attachments are over here and over here. You can see there's an attachment there and an attachment there. We're obviously going to label this from the right hand side because we want the attachments, we want the numbers for the attachments to be as low as possible. So we've got attachments on carbon number three and on carbon number four. So we're going to say three comma four. Then each of those attachments are a methyl and then you're going to put a line. So three comma four methyl nonane. So I'm going to stop there. That's enough time for this video. But in the next lesson, we're just going to keep going on. And so you're going to become very comfortable with using all of these attachments and, and, and figuring out how to name the molecules.